So my last video talked about how Mojang could stop compromise accounts from being a thing and stop basically blatant hacking in Minecraft, which um, I appreciate a lot of your feedback on that. I tried to respond to a lot of comments, but you know, if you haven't seen that video, I'd recommend you go watch it. Um, it's a pretty good video just talking about what Mojang could do, but this is going to be about what you can do as a player to prevent your account from being stolen, hacked, etc., you know, the normal situation. So um, I'm just going to be laying out a few tips. If you're a little bit computer savvy, you probably have decent account security, or at least you're aware of decent account security, like the, the idea of it. Um, but you might even not know all these tips, so I recommend you watch even if you think your account is secure, because personally, I found out uh, a good amount of my accounts weren't secure maybe half a year ago when I didn't follow these steps, and uh, my Snapchat and a few other accounts got hacked because I was using an old password on it. So um, I consider myself computer savvy. I uh, have been coding for like two years but I got my account hacked six months ago. So even if you think you know what you're doing, which I did, I was still proven wrong. Unfortunately, I couldn't prevent it before it happened. But hopefully this video will help you out, give some tips uh, that can prevent but, uh, not only your Minecraft account, but like every other account that you use just in general. Uh, like security with passwords and that sort of thing. So I'm sure you've been told like, don't use the same password on multiple websites. And you probably know that you shouldn't be doing it, but there's also a very good chance that you're still doing it anyways, because you think, no, this can't happen to me. No one would want to target me. And you're right, you probably wouldn't be specifically targeted, but the problem is there's big lists of username-password combinations that have been leaked from other databases, as I mentioned in my last video. So uh, let me show how you can find out if your username or password, or actually email and password, are in those leaks. And if they are, well, you have to change it. That's a complete necessity, or your account inevitably will get hacked. So um, I'm going to be showing a website called HaveIBeenPwned.com. You might have heard of this, especially, like I said, if you're computer savvy. Um, but it's always good to check this website every once in a while. Some You can sign up for email notifications, um, but just type in your email, and it'll come up with every website if there's any that uh, have a database breach that your account came up in. And then you can, if you knew that you had a password on that that was the same as, say, your Minecraft account password, your email password, or anything else, just go and change that immediately because inevitably it will get hacked at some point. That's just the nature of people scanning through these databases. They're, at some point, they're going to get to your account. And um, another thing you can do, which I think not as many people do, but is also maybe even more important, is uh, go over to the passwords option on Have I Been Pwned. And first of all, you want to check that you're actually on the website Have I Been Pwned, um, just to be certain, because you never want to type your password. Like, this seems really counterintuitive that you would put your password into something, but just make sure you're on the website. Go to the little corner where it says uh, Troy Hunt. That says that it's... Uh, SSL verified that it's the website have it been pwned and also a good rule of thumb so you don't get fished your account stolen which means uh, like typing your account password and username into somewhere it is going to be stolen from is uh, just search with Google just use Google click the first result um, that's not an advertisement click the first result and you'll get to the website that hopefully is legitimate not a scamming website because sometimes people type their uh, URLs wrong and then you'll get fished. But anyways, back to what I was saying, um, make sure you're on the right website and then it sounds, it sounds wrong, but you can trust this website because they're not logging. Uh, you can trust them. If you want, like I said, if you really don't trust them, you can go into incognito mode and uh, turn on VPN and then you'll be completely safe. It won't have any association with the, the email that you put in before. But type in your password for Minecraft or anything else and see if it comes up in any leaked databases. And if it does, you know that your password is out there and you know that you're gonna be hacked at some point because the literal plain text, the password that you use is already out there in big lists of passwords. It's gonna get, they're gonna get to you at some point. That's pretty much a guarantee. And um, that's how cracked accounts work. And it's just, it's just a really big epidemic in Minecraft right now. So um, that's basic security. Change your password if you find yourself in those databases. I would sign up for email notifications on that website so it will tell you if your email gets like 
uh, put into any leaked databases or is found in any leaked databases. So you can know, you can go check, you can make sure that you don't have the same password on those websites. And if you want to be extra professional, um, you can use something which I use personally called LastPass. You might have also heard of this, but there's a good chance you don't use it because it seems like kind of a hassle. It's basically a password manager. You can look up all that stuff. I'm not going to explain it too much. But basically, it'll just secure all your passwords under one master password. That's that, that You have to remember that. But it'll keep all the rest of your passwords. Um, you can make them random. I personally have random 16 character um, letter number symbol. So I know I won't get hacked, but... Um, I'm a little bit of a target, like, my ego says I'm a big target, no, I'm not really a target, I'm just, I just want to keep myself secure, so if you think that you want to be extra secure, like, most people aren't going to want to go through the hassle, but if you really think that you should, um, you can download LastPass, you can sign up for it, I'm going to put my referral code in the description if you want to be nice and give me a month of um, LastPass premium or whatever, I'm not even sure what it does, but I figured I'd just put that down there if you want to support me. But, um, yeah, basically, you can generate all your passwords through LastPass. It's very useful. I personally love it. I think it was easier than remembering a bunch of passwords and having to, like, try out a different thing every time I wanted to sign in. Um, but you might not be the same way. You might not like it as much. But there's, like, a mobile app and stuff, too. It's just easy. It's honestly, it's just easy for me at this point. Once you've gotten through the hassle of getting every account changed password to a secure password, then you're good. But anyways... Um, those are just a few tips you can take to uh, keep your account secure. Um, try not to get hacked. Like, th there's just been an epidemic of people's accounts getting compromised. Um, there was a statistic on Hypixel that Plank actually said that they banned over 300,000 accounts for compromised accounts. That's not even for watchdog bans, that's just compromised account, which is absolutely crazy. And I know it's a lot of kids who haven't logged into their accounts for a while and are getting their accounts compromised, but at the same time, that should not be so high. And obviously Mojang has a lot to do, but for now, you can just keep your account secure. Please, please, don't get hacked. There are so many VIP MVP Plus accounts uh, on like alt shops that you can buy a ranked account, which is just crazy. So many people who have actually paid extra money to a Minecraft server are still not having good password security and are still getting their accounts stolen and probably getting banned. So, um, yeah, that's the deal pretty much. I hope you guys have good security with your accounts. I hope these tips helped. Just have secure passwords. I know you're not going to really follow the advice of use a different password for every website because honestly, I didn't do that either. That was just too much of a hassle for me. But if you really want to be secure, if you want to be safe, use LastPass. Use the referral in my description, pretty please. And um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Go, go try out this website, all right? That's the one thing I want you to do. Make sure you're not compromised. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.